Well, Kelly, uh, maybe outside of the first tournament of the year, I would think that the Pac-12 championships is always an exciting time for you and your team. We're really excited, working hard, and, and just looking forward to that postseason play. And the Pac-12 championship is always a first-class event. Best teams in the country are in the Pac-12, and so go out there and compete hard and, and leave it all out on the course. You've had an opportunity, obviously, throughout the season to compete against several other conference schools. Where do you think you stack up? You know, we're, we're climbing up the ladder slowly but surely. It's a competitive, um, competitive conference, and um, right now I think we're seated ninth in the conference, and so, um, you know, looking to play better than that and go out there and, and, um, and play well, and it's a challenging track. Valencia Country Club is beautiful. I was telling the players, you know, um, by what it looks like online and what I've heard, it's, it's a challenge, and it's, it's going to be a good course to play a championship on. Talk about uh, how far your team has come from, from day one in the fall to, yeah. to where they are right now. You know, the last four years since I've been here, it's amazing, you know, where we started and, and where we are now. And uh, we've had great players come through the program, but it's really the work ethic of these players. I mean, they give their heart and soul to WSU women's golf, and we have a lot of fun. We have a work hard, play hard mentality, and they, they give it their all. And I just, I couldn't be prouder of this group of young women. Where we started the year, you know, we came out in the fall hot, played some great events, um, in the spring, we kind of got off to a slow start, but they've really persevered and, and worked through it. And, and we had a great tournament in Texas, and we looked to gain momentum from there. And then talk about the momentum, uh, whether, whether a good showing at the Pac-12 leads to an NCAA bid or not. Just what would a good showing at the Pac-12 do for your program going forward? You know, you always want to compete in postseason, and um, that's been a goal for this team since day one is getting to NCAAs and, and not just regionals, but the national championship and being a um, – being an elite program, you know, in the country. And, you know, I don't know where that we're going to be um, in terms of I don't know how well we need to play. If we win, we're in for sure. It's hard to stay with the rankings, and, you know, they don't really move that much this time of year, but you never know. And, and that's what I've told the players. You know, we want to go out there, and we want to fight, and we want to play to the end and, and let it, what happens happen. But this team, I couldn't be prouder of them, and we're going to get there. And there's no question asked with the work ethic and the heart of this team and, and everything that we put into it and the support that we get from the university, this team will get there. It's just taking a little time. And then last question, just you'll, you'll lose a couple seniors, whether it be after this event or, or hopefully after at yeah. least one more. Uh, what are they going to mean to you and what are the memories and what they've left on the program? Gosh, I mean, these seniors, when, they, when I first came in, they were freshmen. So we've been through this whole wild ride together, and they mean a lot. I mean, just setting the groundwork, the foundation of the program, and um, personally and professionally, they're great people. They're going to do great things, and um, what they've brought to WSU and the team is, is really – I mean, words can't describe it. So Emma, Ellen, Brenda, Julia, they're all going to be really missed. All right, well, best of luck next week. Thanks.